Welcome to another edition of Marie Shadows playing Assassin's Creed Origins for the Xbox. But you guys already knew that. I hope you guys are enjoying episodes 1, 2, and 3. They're currently in a playlist that you could go on Average Land's YouTube and watch. So yeah, let's get right into it. This is going to be episode 4. We're going to be tracking down Anubis and also Skimet. Um, This is going to be... This one? Oh, we just jump cut. We're doing the last bodyguard. Wow. That was quick. This is a detour from the main you, quest. You, that insignia. You are a man of honor. There are so few remaining. I am a Magi. I solve problems. Good. I have one. A most precious treasure which must be delivered today. You will be well compensated for your work. I Here are so. some drachmas to start. This city is much more expensive than I'm used to. Good. It is settled. Follow me. All right, following the guy. The thing I ask you to do is of the utmost importance. Of course it is. Being a merchant is no simple matter, sir. I assure you, moving tiger skins or even statues is not easy work. Why do we have to go around the table? Ah, these workers never when you tell them to be. Why couldn't we go straight? Say, you must be quick. Oh, and do not stray from your task at all. I will know if you have. This is all I have left since the flood. Seems you care a lot for your... cargo. I swear on her mother's grave she was sent from the gods to make Alexandria better. She? Who is this she? I have your bodyguard, Kara. Do not let this be a repeat of the last time, daughter. Wait, no, this hardly seems to be what you asked. Magi, I will and put dramas down your throat as long steal. as she is safe. Well, he's Kara, remember the reception tonight. You will be ready. Of course, father. I would not miss it. I am so happy you have come to assist me, sir. We will get you home fast. Do not worry. Oh, of course. Thank you, my bull. You look just like Heracles. Perhaps I'll call you my Heracles. Everyone tells me that. Yeah, I decided to do it. I thought I could lose her and do the main quest for you guys, but she kept following me. That's the part you didn't see. So because she kept following me, I decided to just do it. Even though it requires to be a level 15, Finally. you'll see how easy this is. Change of plans, Heracles. Who? Ah, no matter. Child, it's time to return you home. Yes, child. I will not go. Have you met the priests here? Dull. No, I must go to the central market. I heard of new Persian linens. I need them. Or what? I will scream, which will call the soldiers. Then, well, even if you survive, father will be quite angry. That's every woman's Manubis, defense. take this city. Are you Sekhmet in disguise? Sent to test me. What was that? Nothing. Good. First, we must get my horse. She's been treated absolutely terribly without me around. You'd think someone would clean this water. Ugh. You guide the boats well. Much better than any of my other bodyguards. Now let me turn this boat around. Let me press all the buttons in the world to get off. I simply adore this part of the city. So rustic. So dusty. You what you talking the about? They live a truly simple life here. Pegasus simply can't wait to be reunited. <laughs> Young Miss, it's so nice to see you again. As you asked, she has been given new shoes. There now, was that so difficult? Now out of my pay. The deal was only to get you home, not to pay for your horse. I'm sure my father would not be pleased with you discussing this in front of him, horseman. Of course. Uh, I'll discuss it with your father. Oh, Pegasus. I know you missed me. Yes, you did, you beautiful creature. If only you had wings. Time to go, bodyguard. Well then. <laughs> Ooh. 
Men first, of course. That is it. I am taking you home, Princess Kara. Let me play the Marie oh, Shadows all way. The big broody types are the same. Never let me have any fun. Oh, can't go there. I should just leave you here. You're duty bound to deliver me, are you not? Who would know if I left? Your conscience would, of course. So, Look there, bodyguard. Th that is where I had my first discussion. No one cares. I'm sure he was very grateful. We must stop at the market for more linens. I will take you to your house as your father bed, and nowhere else. Now lead on. You know, you oh, are shit. Why you jumped off? destroying my chances at getting the perfect oh. linens. There are different kinds of linen? Get back on the horse. You are much more serious than my usual bodyguards. You could move faster, bodyguard. I have a name! Bayek. Ah, you do know my name. I remember all their names, you know. Whose names? The bodyguards. I send gifts to their families when I can. Gara. Gara. Yes? If we go find your linens, would you be happy? Really? Of course! Thank you, buddy. You have an interesting stare. Thank you. I tend to not have logic when I need to get to a waypoint. Just so you guys know. Clear the way! Side quest. <laughs> so just so you are reminded, we are still in Alexandria. With all the dust that's flying around. And we circled back because over there is the library. Which we will do right after we get her the linens. Stones are just pretty. Everything in this game is pretty. Ubisoft definitely made colors and architecture stand out, but they've always done that. It's just that this doesn't have the same premise as the rest of the games where you're introduced into the Brotherhood, you know why you're there, and you have to, um, you know. Uh, get the artifacts for the Templars or of Stargo. But this is completely different. And I'm intrigued about the different storyline, uh, if it's only like a macro difference. Aha! Finally! These linens show some promise. Ah, oh, it's so heavy. Would you help me? Of course. Bayek! Pegasus! They stole my horse! Stay here. Do not leave. Those assholes. Come on, camel, let's go. <laughs> let's see if I can catch up to the guy. Here's a head start. Oh, my arrows are doing tricks. Oh. Trying to get a shot. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to leave you, Camel. Money. It is done. Whoa there, girl. Hey, time to get you home. Your troublesome mistress will have missed you. Pegasus, huh? I like it. It suits a horse. I would like your spirit. Whoa. Whoa. 
Here's the horse. Over here, Bayek. Oh, Always have to be good gentlemen. Bring back the linens. Uh. What? Nobody wants to speak now? Hey, hey, I need to speak to you. Papa, since Pegasus was limping, Bayek went to deal with her shoe. It was only gone a moment. Oh. I heard some commotion, but according to my little princess, you're the hero of the day. Can he always be my bodyguard? No. Please, father? No. How much does it cost to hire a Medjai permanently? I am here only a short while. Alas. Then allow me to grant you a hero's pay for a hero's service. Easy money. And I leveled up to level 13. Taking on a level 15 side quest. Bayek, you've returned to me. Are you ready to be my personal Magi? Uh, well, uh, no. I, I continue. Y you see... You are so gullible, Bayek. I'm only happy to see you still in one piece. Best bodyguard in this city. Thank you. Alright, so let's go do the main mission. I definitely feel a lot more comfortable riding horses and camels. But in real life, I would definitely like to learn how to ride a cap. That would be mad cool. Hot! Stay there! Oh, oui. People are just funny <laughs> when they stream out random stuff. It's a long ride over there. Well, guys, how are you enjoying the scenic view? Set up this. The snake will get his answer. And we came to the Great Library. We discovered a new location together. All of us together. I wrote this. Now let's go find Arya. She's over there. All right. Oh, I find I Aya Mongol is in the squares. Let's try to climb up. There has to be a way in. Has to be. I'm on the roof, like all good assassins. Okay, let's climb down. Probably climbing up wasn't the best idea. The doors don't want to open. There's nothing here. Let me go back inside. Maybe there's stairs. Oh. Huh? All right. Set up this. Now what? Ah, where is Aya? Ah, set up this. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. I am eager to see you. She said. Quickly, follow me. Ah. 
I am sorry, my good fellow. You appear to be drunk. <laughs> this library is for serious scholars only. She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. I am Aya's cousin, Thanos. Ah, yes, Thanos. Nice to meet you in person. Thanos. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Why are you being so discreet? Gennadio sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often they drag people into the street and torture them for information. Mm -hmm. Typical of this system we live under. Gennadios. A monster. The Philakitai of Alexandria. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodos. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. Yeah, but what happened? You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all, fear not. Of the way. Oh, so she's in hiding. Clear the way. Look! There's Thanos. He thinks he's a poet. The modern Sophocles. You must hear his epic poem, Ode to an Annie Goat. <laughs> in heat. <laughs> Fame always gets you half and half. Half haters, half lovers. This is as far as I go. The way to Aya is found in the monument ahead. There. Now we're climbing up more stuff. I just wanted to do a leap of faith. The controls weren't working again. I could do that though. Alright, so let's go explore this well. Again, should we spend months apart? When we only have each other, without him one. Let us be together. Us two. Each to each. I have news. You are scarred by justice. Ah. I bludgeoned Meduna Moon with this. I hate that we have to do these things. But I am grateful that you did. If I am honest, I took pleasure in it. That's not getting in the way of their romantic scene. Which is quite sexy. I've missed your touch. I have missed touching you. <laughs> Well done, Ubisoft. I killed as well. Actaeon. I hunted him down and discovered a mask in his room. When he returned, I forced him to wear it. Then I thrust this knife through his eye slits. Aya. But I was careless. Another of the masked ones tracked me to my home. It was even more difficult. We have one more. Then, we will be done. <laughs> Look at this. I took it from Acteon. Apollodorus tells me it is a papyrus from the Royal Council. Which means the snake? is in Ptolemy's court. How does this Apollodorus know these things? He has informants everywhere, because of his work with Cleopatra. But Cleopatra? She's been declared a criminal. <laughs> By her treacherous brother, yes. She plans to take back the throne. 
She wants this snake dead as much as we do. And she trusts me. She gave me this to slit his throat. It's an ancient blade that killed the tyrant Xerxes. A weapon of justice. <laughs> Ingenious. Ah. I will go to the palace and discover who uses the seal of the snake. And I will use this. You'll find plenty of information in the royal scribe's office. He spends his time at the bathhouse. Go search the palace while he's away. And you? I cannot leave here as long as Gennadios walks the streets. He is determined to kill me. In addition to the snake, I will see what I can learn of this Gennadios and silence him. Discover who the snake is and show him the face of death. I'll meet you at the Paneo when you have killed both the snake and Gennadios. My heart aches until I see you again. As does mine. Aww. That'd be a sweet poem. A very, very sweet poem. Alright guys, let's get into this. We're currently going after... Genetics. I cannot pronounce any of these guys' names. At all. I would've had a terrible time living back then. I would've just been like, yeah, that guy. Definitely going after that guy. So how'd you guys like those cutscenes? They're pretty awesome. Okay, so you see that guy? We gotta kill that guy. We're gonna go kill him. Let's go infiltrate. If Metal Gear Solid has taught me anything, it's how to infiltrate. A not so well guarded area. But then again, it doesn't help that I'm running and not crouching. Let's see if I can get the upper hand here. <laughs> Nope, not here. not here. Not here, not here, not here, not here. Alright, let's wait. Now we gotta go to a battle. I hate the fact that I'm still getting used to the controls. This is probably the first time this pre-game where I can probably say that I suck. And I'm just here for the movie scenes. I think I'm holding my own pretty well. The big thing I keep the game to do is to lock on. At least I'm dodging. It's not like in episodes 1, 2, or 3 where I'm like dying constantly. I just don't want to get hit by that guy. That's all. And you're done. Kill the asshole. Kill you too. Let's get money. Alright, let's go to this flashback. Why have you dragged me into the land of the dead? You sought to kill my wife! Your whore of a wife is a murderess. Wailfully and wantonly. Hey, don't call her I did my duty as a Philagetai. And for this, you have taken my life. Is your vengeance above all law, Medjai? Be warned. The Philakis will hunt you down and exact revenge. May the Hidden One 
walk beside you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. At least the Sentence Creed no longer has monologues, making a very person original one for the Xbox 360. Yep, now I gotta watch out for those bad boys. More money. Gotta stock up, stock up on money. Not stuck up. Oh. All right, guys, that is the end of episode four, part one of the main story. Stay tuned for Tuesday for episode four point two. Uh, where you get to see the rest of the main quest as done by yours truly, Marie Shadows. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Until next time, guys. Stay bright. Hey.